Hey everyone, this is Rushlock, and I'm making a quick video guide for Bartos in our community who wanted some um, visual aids for how to set up different features for streaming. Uh, this one's about uh, it's getting Streamlabs up and running for different uh, functionality for your stream. The biggest new feature on Twitch is extensions, which allow you to have overlays on your, your live broadcast that viewers can interact with. Um, it avoids them having to go to like third-party websites, you know, clicking off your channel to go interact with something else. So what the first step you want to do, you know, twitch.tv slash your username slash dashboard slash extensions. Um, you can go to your dashboard or you can go to the extension manager tab. Uh, I use better Twitch TV, BTTV, so I don't know if it's configured differently on base Twitch, but again, just put in twitch.tv slash your username slash dashboard slash extensions and you'll end up here. Uh, I have Streamlabs running currently. Um, what this will do, and I can't show you this visually, Bartos, or anyone else who's who's using this as a guide, but when your channel is live, the user can put their cursor over your, your video. In the bottom right-hand corner, the Streamlabs little icon will appear. They can click that, open up a menu system. It'll show them, you know, games they can play, uh, giveaways they can enter, things like that. But this is where you go to uh, you know, search for Streamlabs, uh, install it, and you'll go through the process of, of setting it up and It'll walk you through uh, everything pretty pretty linear, linearly. I had a pretty good experience with it. Um, just follow their instructions for doing so. But you'll also end up at your streamlabs.com dashboard. And from here, if you've never set up anything in your in your stream before for notifications, uh, it's something that Bartos was asking me for. Uh, here's an example for like Stream Boss. Um, a lot of these different widgets and, and, and tools will give you a code that you'll want to... Let's see, we're getting some inception going here. So here's my OBS, right? If I want to add a notification to this, I simply go here, I go to add, I go to browser source. This is what you're going to use for all these tools. And I'll name it, you know, Gokbox or Stream Boss, things like that. And when I, when I complete that, uh, there'll be a field uh, I can't show you here because it'll show you my code, but um, you input into the URL the, the link they give you here, uh, which is blurred out by default, but you can always click this button to show it and then copy and paste it and you're good to go. And that'll make these widgets appear on your uh, OBS window. Um, you can move them around, configure them how you want. The, uh, the Streamlabs uh, extension is different from your widgets on Streamlabs. So your extension manager, your, your overlay, is, is going to be in the bottom right-hand corner at all times. As far as I know, there's no settings to move that currently. Um, but when you're in Streamlabs and you're making widgets, you can move the widgets wherever you want. An example of a widget is the, is the Stream Boss feature. Um, you know, follower notifications popping up, um, you know, bits and tips and subscriber notifications, things like that. You can, you can, con you know, customize and move things around however you'd like, but, um, that should cover the basics for it. As always, if you have any questions at all, just, just let me know either in the comments down below or DM me on discord. And I can always make a quick little visual guide for getting this all set up. Um, again, you'll start off your dashboard. Uh, the Streamlabs has a lot of cool tools. I like it a lot. It's my primary uh, streamer tool to use at the moment. But you can go through your alert boxes. The alert boxes, I think, will show you... Yeah, there we go. It's all grayed out for me. So this is where you'll set up your follow notification, your subscription notification, uh, tips, hosting, bits, things like that. And they all have the same little code here. But you go through here and set up your options. Once you save everything, come up here and get your code. That's when you do the browser uh, capture addition add-on to uh, your OBS scene, and you're good to go from there. Uh, but you can customize images, GIFs, whatever you want to put in here for notification um, details, and you'll be good to go. But again, any questions, concerns, just message me on Discord or put a comment down below the stream. And I will see you guys next time in the next video.